Hello, welcome back. This is James Uriah from UXShape. Today we're going to look at a hamburger menu, how we can do it on mobile. Um, there's a question I saw on the forum and I just thought, let me make this a uh, short video tutorial to show the uh, user is asking this question. Um, also, you can use it for your mobile app prototype if you want to. Um, the way it's going to be done is very simple. Um, as you can see on this page here, I have... Um, um, this widget that I've placed, I just used uh, three horizontal line and wrap it inside a rectangle shape. The rectangle shape, if I bring it out, the rectangle shape is transparent and it's sent to uh, front. So I bring this rectangle shape to front and I just did it. So um, let's move it back to where it is. And the interaction that I had it was actually on the rectangle shape itself not on the horizontal line so if we look at the widget and interaction note we can see we have bring a uh, menu bar to front and bring a menu bar and, and show slide bar um, show menu bar slide right and uh, what we've done here is um we've created a menu bar so if we look at um, the dynamic panel i've created a menu bar with a dynamic panel and if we look at the states we have here yeah, the dynamic panel plus what the area we're going to use to close the hamburger menu because the way we have it is when the user click the um, hamburger menu here then the page is going to, uh, the menu bar is going to slide out and when they click the gray area it's going to slide back instead of using uh, the light box option which sometimes you might not be able to remove it from your prototype effect if you are viewing on a browser but of course if you are viewing your mobile prototype on a mobile app then the light box option will not really take effect so let's look at how this works now and uh, let's go back to the dynamic panel state and let's look at how we close it we just close it by saying um by saying slide back and then we send uh, send this to back so we just say send to back and we'll save it if we preview this prototype now, we can click here and we can see a slide bar. We can see this area that we've created. We've just created uh, with another shape, but with a more uh, opacity in the background color. So if I click it, it goes back and the menu bar shows. If I click it, it goes back and the menu bar shows. So that's how you can actually do your hamburger menu instead of creating um, an hamburger effect that will show um, light box. If we go back to this interaction, under this show, you can see this more option. I didn't show anything like a treat as light box. I just leave it as none because I have created that uh, background effect when the menu open with a gray area here so i just use this color um this number you can see one eight three three four six and i just set the opacity to 45 you can set it to less than that as well to make it more transparent um so let's test it again for the last time we'll go to the browser refresh and we can slide open the hamburger menu we can close it so we don't need to have the um, light box effect if I if I choose the light box let's see what's gonna happen if I put the light box and I say treat as light box and I save it if we go back and refresh what we're going to see is that every area will be grayed out and that's what we don't want so and you can see it's going to look somehow if you are previewing on a browser, of course. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove the um, trait as light box and just set it to none. Okay, 
So what you need basically is you need a uh, the hamburger menu to only have two keys. Um, bring the widget to front and show the widget by sliding it right. And uh, we can we will also go to the dynamic panel state. And what we need in the dynamic panel state is uh, to have this hide menu bar, slide left, and send menu bar back to um left so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um if you have any question um drop me an email or subscribe to my channel and i will be glad to help you thank you bye